Welcome to the Ritz Carlton Cancun. So we got some inside information that the Ritz Carlton will no longer be the Ritz Carlton starting September 1st. Stay tuned to see what it's going to be called and what kind of resort it's going to be. In the meantime, I'm going to do a full resort tour including the food at fantino the gym the spa massage that we got and the room tour so guys keep watching hi guys that's me over there checking in trying to get an upgrade and they were nice enough to upgrade us to a junior suite two bedroom two bath that's our luggage right there yep we got nine pieces of luggage just for a 20 night trip can't forget anything at home Right there, you can see the titanium welcome gift. It was really nice. We got a letter from the GM as well. And here's the spa. Uh, my wife got a Shiradora massage and I got a stress relieving massage. All in with tip was 480 US dollars. I was kind of disappointed from the last time we took a massage in October 2020, where it was 325 with tip. And, you know, they gave us chocolate covered strawberries. They rolled out the red carpet. They gave us free sparkling wine without even asking. This time I asked for it. And I was really, really shocked when the Rich Carlton actually said the words, sorry, we can't do that. That's usually not in their mission statement. If you go to any Rich Carlton, um, you know, you guys would know that. So I was kind of disappointed in that. It's probably because after long 25 years, they're changing from the Rich Carlton Cancun um, to... Uh, a hotel that we'll soon tell you about. We were really happy that the steam room and the sauna was back in service. When we came back in 2020, it wasn't in service. The massage room was really comfortable. It smelled really good in there. They let you choose some oils. I chose like a lavender and my husband chose an eucalyptus oil. And so the rooms were really, really comfortable. After the massage, we were offered juice, water, and a couple snacks in a relaxation room. The uh, male and female is all separate, so if you have any issues with that, don't worry. It's all separate, so you can wear your bikini, you can go topless if you want to. I don't think you can, but um, there is a place for showering and everything. So here is a receipt. Um, we went just at the end of the month of July, and you can see the total. It was four thirty without tip, and then we left um, sixty seven $50 tip, which was really worth it. The massages was really good. Then prior to the massage, you do have to fill out a waiver. Um, again, the staff here does wear a mask, but we don't have to wear masks. So they just want you to know that, you know, if you have COVID symptoms or anything, you have to disclose it. And then also if you get anything, any issues that as always, is always a liability waiver to be signed. All right, guys, this is our room, room 7011. That's where it's going down. Uh, here we, we got upgraded, being Titanium members, to a Juliet or full balcony suite. It is 1.5 bats. Uh, right there, you can see the first bathroom, fresh flowers, fresh roses every morning, which is a really nice feature of Rich Carlton Properties. Um, so this room is actually 876 square feet. It has two balconies, uh, a huge bathroom, sofa, two TVs. Really, really nice. Because um, typically this room goes for a thousand a night and I just checked for the rest of August and it's pretty much um, $671 plus 51,000 points. So we got this for a steal because we only paid 212,000 points um, plus $276 resort fee to get upgraded to this amazing suite was really, really a nice treat. We just got lucky. Um, See, so you can see the two TVs there. And then they have um, a whole separate room. It's a one bedroom. And then the couch and the kind of living rooms on that side. Here's one full balcony over here with two chairs and a table outside. And look at that blue water. So nice. You got a full tanning bed there too. So actually, sorry, three chairs. Well, one, one full tanning bed and then two two chairs. And then here's the pool really really nice layout it's really unfortunate this will no longer be a ritz carlton all right guys i don't want you guys to wait any longer so this hotel is no longer going to be a ritz carlton it's going to be a kempinski hotel never stayed in one uh we are big believers of staying at marriott hotels because they obviously deliver exceptional service 
um, if this is no longer a Marriott, we may no longer stay here. If you guys stay here and it's a Kapinski Hotel, please comment below and let me know how the service went and how you guys like the stay. We stopped at the fitness center. Uh, this time we didn't have to wear masks. I think the mask was uplifted in Mexico in June 2022. We were offered water and a towel. And then also the equipment is thoroughly sanitized. Everything was really clean. They have all Techno Gym products. Um, each machine was spaced out, so not everyone could use every machine just for social distancing. They still practice that in Mexico. Um, like I said, all the machine, the equipment was thoroughly sanitized and really clean. And that is me enjoying some time on the treadmill, burning off those calories that I ate. <laughs> We head to the gym around 11 a.m. every day and there wasn't really much of a crowd, if any at all. We usually have the gym to ourselves. Also in the gym, they do have a steam room as well, so you're more than welcome to use that. Again, there was no one there, so I had it all to myself. Um, there's a locker room, There's they have shampoo, showers, towels, and then you, you can request anything you want, like a blow dryer, um, just hairspray, gel, anything that you want they'll be more than happy to provide that for you. Being Marriott members, we do receive complimentary tea service and coffee service. I'm not a coffee drinker, so I opted for daily tea service, and they delivered that right away. The service was really fast. When we asked for shampoo, conditioners, extra towels, it will be delivered within like five minutes. It was my birthday and I wasn't even expecting this, but they bought a delicious chocolate cake to the room, so I was really thankful for that. Fantino is our favorite restaurant. Once they change to the new hotel brand, I hope they don't uh, get rid of this restaurant because the food is delicious. The service is 12 out of 10. I've never received this kind of service in any restaurant and we've been to Alain de Coste in Paris, Michelin restaurant, and they didn't even give you this good service. Here are some appetizers, compliments of the chef. Also, they have a beautiful wine list and it's all from uh, actual regions that sell good wine like France and Spain, not all from California. I personally do not like California wines. We opted with a Grenache, a 2014, and it was absolutely delicious, complimented every dish that we ate. Their menu is a little bit small, but I guarantee you, you'll enjoy everything on the menu. It's full of flavor. Complimentary soup, the pumpkin soup, asparagus, and the 
this is a tortellini. And they split it for us. Thank you. Another compliment to the chef. Oh, good. Oh, Ooh, yummy. That's the octopus? Octopus, uh, shrimp, uh -huh. uh, sea scallop. Okay. Also jumbo shrimp with the uh, parmesan gnocchi, pompernickel, and also napoli sauce with tomato. Okay. Thank you so much. The rack of lamb. Bon appetit. Thank you. We're getting out their sloche from Fantino the Ritz, so we ordered our own each. <laughs> Very, very full. This is the last compliment. No chocolate. Yes, thank you. I'm so glad. This was definitely a bill that we didn't mind splurging on. The food was delicious. They gave so many little compliment items like the little goat cheese, the complimentary birthday dessert. Everything was really amazing. Like I said, once this change to, changes to Kapinski Hotels, I hope they do not change this hotel, the Fantino restaurant, as we really, really enjoy this place. And the thrust leche is not on the menu, but you have to order it. We even ordered it for room service because we just couldn't get enough of it. And we we're scared that if they change the hotel that they may not have this anymore. So please, guys, if you still have the restaurant, let us know. The room service menu is on channel 61 and 62. Um, they do charge a delivery charge, but I did add an extra tip on there as well. If you go onto your TV and then you'll have all the QR codes on channel 61 and 62. Like I said, this was at the Ritz. I don't know if they're going to still keep this option available at a Kapinski hotel. As you all may know, as the, after the oil spill in tw 2009, the beach is a hit or miss. So one day you could have bright blue water, the next day it could be chocolate with full of seaweed. But they do a really good job of cleaning it up. Um, it was good until August the 3rd, and then right now we're still here. The beach on this area is a little bit bad, but it seems to be getting better again. All right, guys, that wraps up my tour and review of the Ritz-Carlton. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see the rest of our stay in Mexico. I review several hotels and I actually go to a private island that a lot of you may or may or not have heard about. Um, so subscribe and stay tuned. I'm about to give you the rating at the end. My hotel review category rating for the Ritz Carlton Cancun before it changes to the Kapinski Hotel in the next 10 days is the location was excellent right on the Hotel Zonalera about 10, 20 minutes away from the airport. The toiletries were excellent. They have the Asprey and the Balmain and the staff was friendly except the incident at the massage place. The speed of service was really fast. Everyone was clean. The quality of food of drinks is always good. The cleanliness is top notch the pool the gym everything was amazing uh the quality of sleep mattress was okay like the pillows were really tiny they were like half the size of regular pillows which i'm not sure why they have those the overall value was a 10 because we got a sweet deal uh will we be back i'm not sure i'm gonna wait until people review the kapinski hotel and see what their feedback is on that but for the ritz i give it a 98 percent all right guys Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to watch more videos of my Mexico trip that I upload right away, please subscribe and you will not be disappointed. Thank you. Bye-bye.